Hello everyone, and welcome to this year's Larson Soft Forward 2. Last year, we used Larson Soft Forward on Ortheo's anniversary to reveal a few Ortheo-related announcements and reveal Cross Impact. We wanted to express our sincerest gratitude for the incredible support you've shown us since the release of our latest game just over a week ago. Our focus today is, of course, on Cross Impact and the roadmap ahead. Cross Impact will be in early access for the next six to 12 months. During this time, our dedicated team will be hard at work listening to your feedback and implementing changes to create the best platform fighter we possibly can. But first, let's take a look at what's coming next. We are excited to showcase Cowboy from your only move is Hustle. Cowboy in particular has a special hustle mechanic that pays homage to the source material. Cowboy is our traditional sword fighting character, like our Marth. Cowboy is actually the fastest character, only slightly faster than Tori. Today we're going to be showcasing Cowboy's basic attacks, such as jab, dash attack, tilts, and aerials. So without further ado, let's get started. Cowboy's jab is pommel. Cowboy uses the end of the sword as a kind of get off me tool, and they can be chained into each other, just like the original game. Cowboy's dash attack is stinger. Cowboy points their sword forward and dashes into the opponent. While Cross Impact doesn't have smash or strong attacks, our tilts are, of course, chargeable. So instead of having a traditional Dacus, we actually have a kind of replacement where you can cancel and do up tilt. It's technically stronger than a traditional one, as of course you can use a tilt out of dash attack rather than strong attack and have to charge it up, but essentially it works the same way. Cowboy's up tilt is backslash. Cowboy's side tilt is horizontal slash's grounded version. Cowboy's down tilt is ankle cutter. Cowboy's neutral air is vertical slash's aerial version. Cowboy's forward air is horizontal slash's aerial version. Cowboy's down air is three hit combo's first hit down version. Cowboy's back air is actually an original move where Cowboy slashes their sword behind them, kind of as a brief get off me tool. Cowboy's up air is the three hit combo's first strike. Now, your only move is Hustle is both a really easy game and really difficult one to translate into a game like Cross Impact. Cowboy, for instance, can transfer his moves one to one into Cross Impact and it works great. He works just like a traditional sortie, exactly how we'd want, and his moveset is just perfectly translated. However, of course, your only move is Hustle wouldn't be the same without that turn-based strategy goodness. Now, it's kind of hard to represent a turn-based fighting game in a more traditional platform fighter. However, we think we've strike the perfect balance. Cowboy actually has a unique passive ability in which whenever Cowboy's aerials land and hit the opponent, the opponent actually has a brief period where they're in hit stun or hit lag. And during that time, if they press A or B, as trying to get out of it by mashing, they actually go into slow-mo. It's kind of our way of saying that you have to wait your turn. On paper, it's iffy, but in practice, we've had a ton of fun with this, and we really think it fits the character. And that wraps up Cowboy's basic overview. Oh, and mark your calendars, as Cowboy's official release date will be February 3rd, 2024. Just a month away, and on the anniversary of your only move is Hustle. While our early access continues, we want to update you on the development progress of V1. It's been a while. Although V1 is not quite ready yet, we anticipate them to be finished by April. The entire moveset has been programmed in, and all temporary animations are complete, and we're gearing up for playtesting. As we move from April to December 2024, Team Impact has big plans in store. We'll be overhauling the game with quality of life changes, including a revamped HUD. Bosses and additional single-player content will be a major focus, with the completion of arcade mode and the introduction of more sports modes. However, we want to be transparent with our community. While additional characters are on the back burner for now, we plan to release a handful of paid DLC characters during early access. After all free DLC characters are released, we'll dedicate one to two months to critical touch-up work to each and every base roster character. Speaking of improvements, we're excited to announce... Yes, Pal is finally getting the resprite he so desperately needed. This is something we've wanted to do, honestly, since the beginning. But it just hasn't been in the budget, and we've been focusing on new mechanics and polishing up the game. Thankfully, Joe's and Dark has stepped up to the plate and decided to reanimate Pal. Although we're not dropping a release date just yet, rest assured that the improvements are just on the horizon. Since we've launched, we've made it a priority to check our feedback form every single day. While the feedback form is mainly used to gather bugs and to help polish the game, there is an area where you can request features in there as well. And since then, we've noticed without a doubt our most requested feature was to have an 8-player mode. 
Now it's no secret that in earlier builds, Cross Impact really struggled. And of course, thankfully, the version 0.0.5 was a huge performance update that, quite frankly, fixed most performance issues. With that out of the way, all that we would need for a mode like this would be to accommodate all the stages for up to 8 players, and of course ensuring that the performance runs great. And we're happy to announce that after lots of internal playtesting, an 8 player mode is ready. From now on, in local matches, you can select up to 8 players. This patch will be going live to our playtesters later today, just to make sure that everything's working great, and then once they give the thumbs up, it'll be pushed live within the week. Thank you to those who requested the feature, thank you to those who make it possible, and especially thank you to our playtesters, who are the ones who are going to make sure that this patch goes through smoothly. And now, a special message for our backers. We appreciate your support immensely. We will be fulfilling certain rewards in the upcoming weeks, ensuring that your loyalty is rewarded as we continue this incredible journey together. Thank you all for joining us today. We have quite a lot on our roadmap, as you can see, and we're filled with excitement and improvements. But before we go, we have one final announcement for you. Thank you for being a part of Larson Soft Forward 2. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to share these exciting developments with you. You have all made your impact on us already, and we can't wait to do the same to you. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned, and happy crossing.